step is to write the internet in a box image directly to your micro SD card. Now, Raspberry Pi Imager makes this incredibly easy to do. Um, I'm operating out of VMware using Kali Linux, uh, but you can use your Windows device, a MacBook, um, any other virtualization software and run Ubuntu or anything. Uh, shooter's choice, uh, it's really up to you. Um, the only thing you have to do is make sure your micro SD card can be read by your computer before we begin. Install your specific operating systems, uh, Raspberry Pi Imager, and I will install mine as well. You guys didn't see that. So if you get an error here, it's uh, probably because you don't have the uh, right dependencies. So we can just do a sudo apt backpack fix broken install. And boom. Okay, so let's get started on our RPI imager. Um, you're going to do sudo RPI imager, uh, tatac repo, HTTP, uh, .io, pass.json. Here you're going to choose uh, whichever operating system you prefer. I'm going to go with the top one and then choose your SD card storage and then you're going to write. And this might take a while. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, now that that's done, you're gonna hit continue, and then you're gonna safely eject your USB, and then take your Raspberry Pi, turn it around, and insert the SD card. And then you're gonna power it on, and then you're gonna wait a couple minutes uh, to let everything boot up. Okay, so now you're gonna grab any phone or laptop and then you're going to go to the Wi-Fi network connection and connect to Internet in a Box. Um, after that, you're going to want to go to any browser and type in box.lan. And then here you can see that we're connected into the Raspberry Pi's treasure trove of information. Um, not everything is currently downloaded. Um, so in order for you to download more information, you're going to go to box.lan whack admin. And then here, I'll post the credentials on the screen, but it is IIAB back admin, and the password is go admin. And these are the default credentials which you can change uh, on the Pi with, after SSHing in and then typing password. Um, to install more content, you're gonna click install content and either choose between get zim files or get OER to go. And then you're, you click one of these and you scroll down and you can see all the different available stuff that you can download. Uh, if we go to zim files, I think there's even Stack Overflow on here or Stack Exchange. Crazy. But just so you guys understand, you need the internet in order to download that content. So you have to plug your Pi with an Ethernet cord uh, into your router, download everything you want, and then you can go completely off grid. All right, so uh, let's demo a couple quick installs uh, once you have your Pi plugged into the internet. Um, you can do quick pick and you can select a couple of these packages if you have enough space to install. Uh, so we'll go to Zim files and then we'll install uh, library knots. Install selected Zim. Okay. Um, we'll go to this module. 
install scale for universe the raspberry pi user guide install these and then we'll go to the map regions and install this small file for testing now if you want to check the progress you're going to go to utilities as you could see in all those pop-ups and then click on job status you can see some of them are started and then you just wait i'll catch you guys soon okay so once those are successfully installed you're going to go back to box.lan and just scroll down you can see we have a couple of documents already downloaded and available at the menu uh the library of knots understanding algebra you can click on world maps and and zoom out and in various countries it's pretty cool how you can make all this content customizable to what you want um you can even bring in a portable hard drive and throw even more information on it and make it available as a wi-fi hotspot pretty sweet this thing only needs five volts in order to run uh you can get yourself a solar power bank and maybe a faraday bag and you're good to go i'm starting this new series on pi projects that I enjoy building or running around with, um, so I hope you like it. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and share it with a friend, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.